Morning, everybody. Hope you're all right. The video I'm doing this morning is probably something a bit different. I mean, as you know, what I'm working on and etc. But yesterday, I was over, over, um, over side at yard. One of the lads I had a drink with him, and he's it, about it's 40, Steve, and he picks me cars up. He's got a couple of scanners and bits and pieces. and what I thought, I was thinking about, he was messing about in the yard and he's doing this, doing that, and I thought, it seems to be like when the only people left who actually do some you know, who's actually out there, you know, actually working with his hands and, and, uh, and making stuff, you know, he was like sorting out what he's doing with his lorry, I mean, I don't think he's a particular spanner man, I think he's like a bit of a wagon driver and stuff like that, but he was actually getting on with things, like I can remember in old days. Now... I suppose the reason of this video is because all I see now on like news etc political agenda is oh oh we're going to train people to do jobs we're going to do this but what what I'm what I'm wondering is like we as like you people who used to just go out there and get on with it you know your young'uns who like set off like fixing a bit of a, a trolley together you know so they could go down the street or mending the push bike or you know, I mean, you've got cars now. I mean, we've had an issue with a Ford Ranger, that I've explained before, and this car's ended up back at Ford's, whatever, an hour, 100 not quid an hour. And, uh, th anyhow, they've got the car alive. I mean, for sure, the kid who we, who we put engine in for, I mean. And, um, but it's not, now it's got a fault on something else, it won't rev because of this. Or, but they haven't sent a diagnostic thing, really, because, to be honest, I just think they don't know what they're doing. So... All this training, or so-called training, I mean, this is like, this car's gone to Ford, and they haven't even get any paperwork, they haven't done that, the car's running, but not running correctly, they thought they might have to strip engine down, which I, I believe is complete nonsense, you know, so, it got me onto this point, which is, well, this video, really, I mean, I mean, I want a video like this to be aimed at young people, because it's not all about going into a classroom, and, like, learning, because I ain't done any of that. Nothing. All this, what you can see, what surrounds me and all this, I mean, like this healing, i got some paint thrown on it, I mean, I could do another video on that for you, but, you know, we'll get it a bit further on, then we'll do some on that. But this is all, this is what all but, like, I was shown by odd people, and then I picked a lot of it up, well, I picked the majority of it up myself, you know, I mean, because, end of the day, I suppose it was a little bit different than you had to do something, because you got no, so, but, but all this comes with wanting to do it. And I just think now, I just wonder where these wanting to do it people are. You know, these youngsters, there's, there's got to be some of them out there that have got to want to, like, carry things on and, and do things. You know, they, they, they don't all want to go work in bagel factory or stack, shell, or stack shelves in a supermarket or even work in a warehouse. You know, it's as if there's, like, no hunger to achieve hope. You know, there's not, you, well... There's just, I just don't, I don't know if it's, I don't know if they've got no ambition, I don't know if it's how they've been brought up, but there were always somebody wanting to do something when I was young. And um, something like this, what I do, I mean, would be really, really interesting to a young, but they've obviously got to want to learn it. But that, that seems to be the issue. It's as if nobody wants to do anything. It's as if, oh, they want to, like, send the mate to text or uh, whatever they do, uh, TikTok, is it, or... You know, as if the, everything's revolved around internet, that, you know, nobody works with their hands anymore. And like I said earlier, politicians now are stating that, oh, we need to get people trained. I mean, I'd like to, I'd be really interested in what they're going to train them at. And, you know, how many are going to actually do something with their hands? You know, I mean, what are they going to do with cars? What are the other technicians now? Do they work a computer? Or do they actually get their hands mucky and, and do a thing? You know, or, well, actually put gloves on, which is quite sensible, to be honest. I mean, I'm no qualms without that, like, being careful and, and looking after you, said. But, you know, we're going to train, we're going to train. Well, we can't, everybody in the world cannot sit in a classroom and get educated to do a job that they sat behind a desk. I mean, if you sat behind a desk, you could, as far as I'm concerned, you could send 100 emails in a day easy. It's not a problem. So that gives you 500 a week. So if that's your job to send 500 emails, well, well, how many firms need to send 10 people to send 500 emails? Well, they don't, but they need people on the ground. They need people who can actually fix things, you know. You need, like, people who can actually weld, you know, bead rolls, stuff like that. Well, in this job, this, I mean, in restoration, there's so much stuff to do. You know, I mean, it's like, you see cars that don't look rotten, 
You know, they happen ten year old if that. They could happen with a bumper and a door on. And they look like they'd, they'd be fine. They could go on road for another twenty years. But you just see him. Well, I see Steve pick him up. Lad, I was speaking to earlier. He'll get stuck in. He's he's got three and four on his thing. That just they're gonna they're gonna get weighed in and run out. They're just gonna scrap it. And I look at him and I think, well, and I'm convinced half of this is because people can't fix them, or it's just built to be thrown away. But I mean, what I'm well, as I said earlier, what I'm trying to say to you is, is your youngins out there. I mean, some of you have got have, have like get an interest in some of your hands. You know, if you get an interest in these cars, they're not going to disappear. Cars, no matter whatever they say, our environment policies are. You know, people were always going to want their independence, and people are always going to want a bit of fun. Now, whether the whether the policy is to overpopulate country that much that there's no room for any cars, so it's just a network and how everybody moves around, I don't know. But, I mean, what I'm saying to you, you're, it's younger than me, because when I look on my YouTube side, you're in a, we're in a position where, like, a lot of my clients are above 65, you know, then there's a mid-range, like, 45 to 55, and... And then there's, there's very few, like, younger ends in 40s. But stuff like this is interesting. If you pay attention to it, you know, if you go have a walk around the show, have a look and just look what's going on, and you can spend many a happy hour in a garage and doing things. I mean, you're probably even going to find a partner out there that, like, that enjoys the same things with you. You know, you, I mean, get an old, get out, get out you want, you know, get an old imp, get an old mini. If you, if you want to put an eye booster entry, well, get on with it, you know, but... That actually do something and build something, you know, not not just like, I, I'm getting a bit tired of going to shows and I don't see many young ones, you know, I mean, it's, you've got, this country has got to have people doing things, we've got to have people working with hands, and they're not fetching them over, from over water, that, that's, that's a definite no, you know, a lot of them are not skilled people, so, I mean, well, subscribe to my channel if you're a young one, because you'll probably find stuff interesting what I do. And then, I, then, then in let's say in six months, twelve months time, I'm still knocking a few videos out for everybody. I'm talking about oh, I've seen some youngins down here, or they've sent me a few comments regarding some few projects they've got on. They're after bits of advice, you know. And one, one even cop, cop round and spent a day down here to see if he liked it, you know. That sort of like bit of feedback I'd like to get, you know, or comment. I'd like to see somebody who isn't younger end who's actually interested. I mean, when I were like what. I might have been 13 year old, I'd got an, I'd got an 100 E Ford Pop I was taking to bits and I was customising, because that's what we did, we went to like DMA at weekend, you know, it were, it were local car spares and did, and did things, bought things, put extras on, stuck stickers on. Now it's as if, well, I don't think, I don't think the car industry is geared that way now, you know, it's, it's all a bit like performance and everybody wants to go watch a McLaren do a burnout and stuff like that, but but I'll say it again, because that's, that's why I've done video, really. There's no way this country can carry on without we've got some people using these, because these do everything. I mean, the, 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 the phrases go round that, like, men in boiler suits built Britain, men in suits ruined Britain. Well, I don't think it's too far wrong, but it would be nice if just some of your younger end would just... Uh, jump on board of it, I mean, well, obviously you've got to, or show an interest, because I'm telling you, if you work in this sort of field, you know, whether it's fabbing bodies, building engines, doing whatever, but you get switched on, and don't listen to complete crap, read some books properly, if that's what you're going to do, do your own education, you mind what they're all going to say, you need, you need a bit of feedback from guys that know what they're doing, but they'll, they'll talk to you if you're interested, and have a go, because we are your youngins, these videos I'm doing will just peter out without me. Somebody's got to follow on, so it's simple as that. It's just from me, like, watching Steve yesterday and what you were doing and his, like, 40-year-old couple of Scania. Well, you just don't see too many like that, you know. And, I mean, he's a recovery man. Well, for him to be a recovery man, he's got to have some man, men on ground like people like me or stuff for his recovery and fetching, so. Anyhow, subscribe to my channel, especially youngins. Give us a like if you like what I do. And uh, pass a comment, and I'd like to hear from some of young ones because it's, uh, you know, I'd like to see, I, I'd like to hear about some projects or whatever, or just send me a bit of feedback or something about it, because if, if we aren't that, none of this exists, so. Anyhow, that's me going on a bit, well, something a bit different, but I think it's a bit important, so I might go on about it again, so. Catch you all later, and bye for now.